Good morning, Hope and Lighters. How are you doing? I hope you're well. Um, miss seeing you, as I've kept saying throughout this period of, um, it's not been a church, it's, uh, I miss seeing you. I hope you're all well. It would be good to see you guys soon. Uh, and hopefully we're going to see some of you maybe in a park over the coming weeks, or maybe uh, as we begin to start to do church outside, might be able to see some of you there, or even as we're doing church inside at church, might see you there. Uh, but soon as we've missed so much of Hope and Light, I thought, let's start again with Hope and Light. And we can't do the crafts, we can't do the games, but we can at least do the stories. So uh, we're going to carry on using this book, the, the Action Bible. Um, you, if you haven't got a copy of your own at home, just let me know, I can get you a copy. Um, we've got a load at church, I can lend you one. Or you can go uh, and ask your parents, maybe they can buy you one that's available on Amazon and all good bookshops. So uh, it's called the Action Bible. And today we're going to carry on our story and we're going to begin at page 89 and it's called Big Dreams. And it's all about a young lad called Joseph. So in the story, Jacob is Joseph's dad. And he's gone and settled their family and he's had a son he's had a number of sons and his youngest son is called Joseph and he's his favorite and we shouldn't have favorites but this dad had Joseph as his favorite so open up your action bible on page 99 and follow along with me Jacob takes over as head of the tribe he settles his family in his father's land of Canaan his sons take care of the flocks of sheep but one day, Joseph, the youngest son, tells his father that his brothers have been misbehaving out in the fields. I'm ashamed of all of you. I need you to be responsible, like your little brother Joseph here, his dad told the other brothers. It's okay, dad. That's what I'm here for, said Joseph. Oh, Joseph, you really are a special kid, his dad said. Now later on, Dad and Joseph went off walking. There goes Father with his favourite son. I can't believe he told on us. What next? Father will put him in charge of the flocks. I'll never take orders from Joseph. But a little while later, Jacob gives his beloved son Joseph a very special gift. Your father had this coat made especially for you. For me, said Joseph. It's like a chieftain's robe. And it was a very fancy coat. It's called a coat of many different colours. And there's a whole musical, jo jo Joseph and his amazing Technicolor dream coat. That's very good to watch, but don't watch it till we finish the story in the Action Bible, because you'll find out what goes on. Now, Joseph went out to the fields. He showed off his new coats and his, because his brothers became very, very jealous. But it was nothing compared to how they felt when Joseph said, I had a dream last night. We were all bundling grain. When we'd finished, all, the bu all of your bundles of grain bowed down to my bundle of grain. Bowed down to you? Never. But Joseph didn't get the hint. He was upsetting his brother, telling them all these things of dreams he'd had of their wheat bowing down to them. I had another dream, he said. This time the sun, the moon and the stars all bow down to me. Joseph, stop your boasting. Do you really think your mother, brothers and I will all serve you? But one of his brothers did think. Could these dreams that Joseph's having maybe be from God? Jacob soon forgot any anger he had towards Joseph. And the second dream got the older brother's hatred burning in a rage. They'd had enough of Joseph and his boastfulness. He thinks he's a star. <laughs> I'll show him how far a star can fall, one of his brothers thought. And that's the end of today's story. But what do we learn? Well, we'll find out that actually Joseph had lots of dreams. And a lot of those dreams, or all of them, were from God. And they all became true. Things that he dreamed about sort of happened. But what do we learn from Joseph? 
he was a bit boastful. And he went around telling everybody how wonderful he was and how nobody else was as good as him. And that upset people and got people quite annoyed and angry with him. So should we go around boasting to people how wonderful we are? Well, probably not. We all are wonderful. God made us, says in the Bible, with that we are wonderfully made, that we are made to be a bit like God. And that's fantastic. And God made us to be perfect. But should we go around telling everyone how brilliant we are? No. Our brilliance and wonderfulness should shine out by just how we are, in that we are loving and kind and caring to people. We shouldn't go around going, aren't I wonderful? I played with the person who was upset, or I went and did this for somebody, or I did this for somebody. Boasting isn't a great thing to do, and sometimes it upsets people around us. But we should do those things. We should be loving and caring and kind, but we shouldn't go on and on and on about it. So, hopefully I'll see you next week. Uh, we're going to carry on that story and find out what happens to Joseph. Something quite bad happens to him. Um, so tune in next week. I'll see you then. And uh, have a good week and say stay safe. Sorry, stay safe. See you guys soon. Bye.